Hello, Forever Family. Until then, keep focus on what matters most to you. Hello Forever Family and welcome to Forever Matters for February. I'm Nick Woodward Shaw and I will be your host for this episode and I am so excited to celebrate and recognize many of our amazing FBOs and celebrate a few fantastic events from around the world. 2024 is already off to an incredible start with so many of you connecting around the world in this first month. As executives, we met with the GLT, which included five brand new members this year, and we discussed some great initiatives to keep you engaged and excited for the rest of the year. We then had a call with a brand new PAC20. That's the President's Advisory Council, and they are the 20 leaders with great growth from last year, who again are advising us on how to make forever even better for you. We'll be meeting with these groups throughout the year, and you'll be seeing the results in the future. There are so many success days that have happened in January and continue to happen around this month. In East Africa, that's Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, Zambia, Burundi, and hosts Kenya, kicked off their year with 800 participants and launched their message of the year, which is hashtag go for it. I love that. Over in Nigeria, they held a two-day workshop with Vice President of Africa, Jean-Baptiste Amachia, and over 100 FBOs focused on team building and team keeping, which is really important. Many more Success Day events were held in the UK, Poland, Kazakhstan, and India, bringing out thousands of FBOs from across the world, really emphasizing the power of community and connection. And over in Sao Paulo, Brazil, their first Success Day of the Year was held with Greg and Cynthia Morn and Garin Breinholt, with more than 1,000 people in attendance and lots of recognition, product launches, and fantastic training. Malaysia held their Winner's Circle event for 2024 to celebrate the achievements of FBOs from the past year. Finally, we leapt to London with a two-day event that so many of our hard-working European FBOs qualified to attend. A real highlight of Leap to London for many FBOs was Greg, Aidan, Gary, Holly, and even me performing karaoke on stage to Sweet Caroline. I say a highlight, but it could be an embarrassment. I'll let you decide. But it was a truly memorable moment for sure. What a great and energizing start to the year. And now it's time for some very exciting recognition. We have five new Sapphire managers to celebrate. So congratulations to Hufaifa Asa Mohammed from Iraq, to Hawari Hamid Shweish from Turkey, Brand new Sapphire manager Veronica Graves Kundaya from Tanzania. Congratulations to Amy Palata Yemwini from Congo. And from Cote d'Ivoire, brand new Sapphire manager Amadou Yuba. And we also have two brand new Diamond Sapphire managers to recognize. First up from Cote d'Ivoire is Raul Angelo. And he started in Forever in June 2004. And as a financial analyst, he had a desire to contribute to a better quality of life for all, and this led him to Forever. His motto is that Forever changes millions of lives every day around the world, so let Forever change yours. Congratulations, Raoul. And our next Diamond Sapphire manager started with Forever in 2011. Stepan Balosa from Croatia has built a global network in over 70 countries, and he's stating his greatest achievement as the ability to grow a global business alongside family while positively impacting others' lives. Pan's next goal are to reach Chairman's Bonus Level 3 and Diamond Manager. So congrats and best of luck to Pan. And our final Gem Manager recognition today goes out to a brand new Double Diamond Manager. Congratulations to Philip Ritter from Switzerland. Philip joined Forever at the very young age of just 18 years old and he has built an incredible team of young, ambitious people around Europe and beyond. Philip reached Diamond Manager at the young age of 30, but didn't stop there. He's worked so hard to reach the GLT many, many times year after year. And he and his beautiful wife, Claudia, have just welcomed a brand new aloe baby girl into the world. Welcome, Amelia. And congratulations to Philip on Double Diamond Manager. And now it's time to recognize our top 10 FBOs globally from January who had the most case credits. Our January top 10 global, and in 10th place, congratulations to Monica Valkovich. 
In nine, Tomoko Kobayashi. At number eight, Philip Ritter. Congratulations at number seven to Joelle Bonifoy Polly. At number six, it's Attila Girafalvi. Number five, Binish Abubakar. Number four, congratulations to Etsuko Motosuji. And at number three, Marina Karnat. Well done at number two to Rolf Kipp. And the number one global case credits for January 2024 goes to Hanami Takagi. And now for our top 10 open group for January 2024. Congratulations at 10th place, Yuslida Binti Othman. Number nine, Rosalia Aiello. In eighth place, congratulations to Mai Okazaki. At number seven, Ahmed Ali Mohammadi. At sixth place, congratulations to Binish Abubakar. At number five, Alona Company. Number four, well done to Maria Fabiola Casto. In third place, Tomoko Kobayashi. And in second place, congratulations to Marina Kana. And the number one open business for January 2024 goes to Hanami Takagi. So as you can tell, 2024 is off to an incredible start, thanks to all of you. And I feel so lucky to be able to celebrate and recognize so many of our amazing leaders this month. So until next time, don't forget to focus on what matters most to you.